came out the gates and won a gold in the 100, really taking a lot of pressure off the week. And then uh, the day of the 400, was able to execute exactly the race that I wanted to. Uh, came into the wall first and was able to stand on that podium again, stand in front of 18,000 people, including my mother and my brothers and my sister. I'm Brad Snyder, formerly a lieutenant with the Navy. Uh, for the last seven years, I was an EOD officer, and part of our job was to train an Afghani assault element in how to conduct assault operations. I failed to identify a improvised explosive device that was buried into the ground. I sustained pretty severe lacerations and damage to my face. Uh, the only lasting injury being the loss of my sight. I've made it a personal mission to change as little as possible. You know, I'll, I, I, I kind of live now with a chip on my shoulder saying I'm going to make everything the way it once was. A lot of the skills I had to relearn as a blind person was it was very frustrating to, to have to relearn how to figure out what color shirt I had on or be, be able to walk with a cane or to get toothpaste on the end of my toothbrush. I was a collegiate swimmer before I joined the Navy and found a lot of solace in the pool, found a lot of uh, comfort in uh, being able to swim back and forth autonomously. I was able to compete in the Paralympics uh, last year, which was an incredible experience. To be able to throw a new flag on my sleeve and represent Team USA was, was kind of getting some of that back, getting my ability to serve back, getting my ability to uh, represent the USA on, an, uh, on international soil and bring credit upon our country was, was awesome. It was an incredible experience. There's a lot of power to maintaining a positive outlook and, and being, being able to do that has allowed me to really look at the bright side of all the things that I've been able to do since being blind and I really think that I'm, I've been more fortunate than not uh, after injury. I have the ability to reach out and inspire people to do things that they didn't think that they were potentially capable of uh, maybe before they heard my story. And if I can reach those people and if I can inspire them or if I can identify future Paralympians or help people get past their own bouts of adversity, then that's something I want to do.